art students, today we're going to be working on your folk art project. So for this project, um, we have talked about quilts and how quilts are a type of folk art. And I don't expect you to make a whole quilt. Um, so we are going to make a quilt patch out of construction paper. So imagine this is just a little patch that would be part of a whole quilt. Um, and for this project, your goal is to use construction paper to make your picture, and your picture should show some part of your life. So in my little example here, you can see I have a house, so this would be my house, and then the grass, and I have some little flowers outside of my house, and then there's the sky in the background and the sun. So you could do your house, um, you could do anything that represents a part of your life. So if you play a sport, you could make the field where you play your sport. So maybe a baseball field or a football field. Or um, if you like gardening, you could do a whole field of flowers or plants. There's lots of different things that you could do. Um, I'm going to move this to the side now and I'm going to show you the steps you need to take. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to cut out your base square. So everything you're going to glue everything on. So I picked blue because I knew my background was going to be blue for the sky. Okay, and so I'm going to use blue again. You don't have to use blue, you can use a different color. And I'm going to make a square. So I'm going to use my ruler to make a six inch square. And I'll zoom in for you. Okay, so I'm taking my ruler and I'm going to start right here. And then at the six inch line, I'm going to make a mark. And it's a little bit more than six inches, so I'm going to cut that off. So if you have a lot more, that's fine. I already cut some of this paper off. And then right at that mark, I'm going to put my ruler there and then make a mark at the six inch line again. I'm going to turn my paper. And that mark I just made, I'm going to put my ruler right in line with it. And draw a line. And then I'm going to connect these two as well. Okay, so I already cut that off, so I don't have to cut that side. If you're dealing with a paper that hasn't been cut yet, you'll have a bunch of space left over. So all I've got to do is cut this section off. And then cut this little piece off here. Okay, so now I have my square, and it's about six inches on each side. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to draw where you're going to put everything. So before I did this one, I drew where I wanted the house to go, where I wanted the grass and the flowers and the sun to go. So I'm going to draw on here, and I'm going to suggest that you guys use pencil, but it's hard to see pencil on the blue paper, especially on video. So I'm going to use marker for mine. So instead of doing my house again, I'm going to do the beach because that's one of the places I like to go. So I'm going to draw a wavy line here. And this is going to represent the sand. So I'm going to write sand there so I don't forget that's where it's going to go. Now remember, you're going to cover up this with other construction paper in just a minute. And then I think I want... A palm tree right here so I'm gonna write palm tree and I'm just gonna draw some lines to represent the green part of the tree and this doesn't have to be perfect it's just to know where I'm gonna put things I'm gonna zoom in a little bit again okay and so then out here is gonna be the water and I'm gonna draw a line to represent where the water ends And then I'm going to have maybe a little boat. Okay, so I've got everything planned, and if yours has more going on than that, that's fine. And then you're going to take different pieces of colored construction paper. So I have a 
bunch of different pieces of colored construction paper. And I'm going to cut things out. Sorry about that. So I have all this different construction paper and I'm going to cut things out of there and glue it on here. So the same way someone that was making a quilt would cut out different colors of fabric and stitch it into their quilt, we're going to use construction paper and cut different pieces of colored construction paper and glue it onto our paper to make our image. So kind of the same process someone who was making a decorative quilt would use. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my sand. So as you can see, I've been using this already, but I'm going to cut some of it off to make it a little bit easier. I need to make the sand go right there, right? So I'm going to cut, and notice how I'm moving my hand to make this wavy. Cut that off right there. And I can put it down and see where it lands on here. And it looks like I made it a little bit too tall. So I'm going to cut some of the bottom off. There we go. Now we have my sand. And it doesn't have to fit perfectly. I'm going to trim it a little bit more. That's pretty good. And so then... Now that you have your piece and you know where it needs to go, you can take a glue stick and you can put glue in that section. And then stick your paper down. And now my sand's there. Now, I don't have a nice brown color, so I'm going to have to improvise a little bit, but I do have some orange, so I'm going to use some orange for the trunk of the palm tree. And guys, if you would rather, you could also draw, so if I wasn't sure how to go about cutting this without drawing it, I could start here at the bottom of this orange piece. and draw the trunk of the palm tree. And now I know exactly where I need to cut. I'll move this back over here. There we go. some glue right here and the glue should dry clear so you don't really have to worry about if it's showing because after it dries it'll be clear so now we have our trunk of our palm tree and now I'm going to take one of my little scrap pieces of green and I'm going to cut out the branches so I want it to be kind of triangular shaped like this and if I wanted I could leave it like that but if I wanted I could also give it little flaps so it looks like leaves okay There's another one. I may have made my branches a little too big. Some of them are a little too big. Now, if I feel like you can't really see 
the um, leaves of the palm tree very well, I could draw on top of it. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to add the boat and I'm going to use black to do that. So I'm just going to cut out and I'm going to use this straight line here to make the top of the boat because I want it to be flat. So I'm just going to do a little curved shape almost like a half circle and there I have a boat. There's our boat. Now I'm going to add a little line there for um, a sail to the boat. And I think I want it to be black as well. The last thing I need to do is I need to put the sail on there. So I'm going to use the corner of this to help me and I'm just going to cut diagonally. And you can see when I did that, I got a nice little triangle shape. Now it looks like it's too big, but I can easily chop some of it off. It looks like I need to chop a little bit more off. And that can go right there. And now I have a piece of folk art that shows a place that I've been, so a part of my life, my personal life, um, and I use a similar technique that people would use to make a quilt patch. We're just using construction paper and glue instead of fabric and needle and thread. So when you get done with this, please make sure you turn it in so you can get your points. I'm looking forward to see all of your wonderful creations.